Hello again, everybody. This is John and Glenn with BestPriceNutrition.com. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing Nutrax Research Value Grow, um, which used to be known as Nutrax Research Vitargo. Uh, the name has since been changed, and if you want to kind of cover the history of it real quick, Glenn. Yeah, Vitargo, the company who owned the patent on it, was very selective about who they let carry the ingredient, the actual Vitargo ingredient. Um, and a few years ago, they decided that... Um, they were only going to license it to one company, so any company that was carrying the Vitargo had to remove that uh, the name from its label. So yeah, it's sort I of think they're the ones who the company is the ones that own the. Yeah, they they own the patent for it. They own they they manufacture the Vitargo. So um, now you'll see companies that maybe at one time used Vitargo or are looking to find a replacement for it. Um, and this is one of them, Nutrex. Now they're calling it Value Grow. And one of the common. Uh, misconceptions, I guess, is that if you use waxy maize starch, which is a bit of an umbrella term, meaning it covers a lot of things, mm -hmm. um, it's the same as Vitargo, but when you go and look, it's a Vitargo, however you want to say it, um, Vitargo is potato starch, mm -hmm. but it's not the waxy kind. The waxy no. refers to what it looks like under a microscope. It looks like wax. Mm -hmm. So it's actually just potato starch. And oftentimes when you look at like a lot of the companies that use waxy maize starch, um, and our research found that they're referencing studies, there's a couple, there's only two I think mm -hmm. out there that are of any relevance, that were actually done on Vitargo, Vitargo. Yeah, not so. on waxy maize starch. And the ones that you've seen on waxy maize starch that are out there, they did versus just a slow starch. And it was found in terms of the ability to spike insulin that dextrose was actually at least three times greater. So, Yeah, and so they're, they're still, and, and I think even on this bottle they're, Referencing one of those studies. Yeah, one of those studies. Yeah, the, the so sixth one. They're so. still going back to uh, the old Vitargo studies when they're not actually using the patented Vitargo. Yeah. So the really the issue with the waxy maize starch, you know, independent of it, you know, the, the idea is that it's got a higher molecular weight, so it's going to increase gastric emptying. It's going to get into your system better and yield a higher insulin spike than dextrose or maltodextrin. Um, but in practice, that's not been proven to date. So. That's one issue. Two, it costs more. Yeah. At least companies charge more for it. You can buy dextrose for a fraction of the price, and it turns out it's better. Yeah, it, in, in terms of spiking insulin. You know, be, because of that, uh, the molecular weight they're they're charging sometimes two or three times as much as just the you know plain old dextrose, uh, which is shown to, like John had said, uh, have a better uh, better result. It's a higher glycemic higher index, glycemic and glycemic. if you try and find a glycemic index on waxy maize starch, you really can't find anything because. It means so many things. Mm -hmm. It could be from barley. It could Rice, be from corn. Rice, potato, corn. I mean, in theory, it should be corn because maize meaning corn. But that's that's kind of what's going on there. Um, the other thing is, I mean, they do reference the molecular weight on this. You yeah, know, it's it's quite a range, but between it's, a two million and ten million um, molecular weight. So yeah, whatever. I'm not sure what metric they're using for that, but. Uh, Independent of that, it's the idea is that you know you get an insulin spike. It, it kind of plays on the theory that you get a good insulin spike when you take creatine monohydrate. It's going to absorb better, which is true. Yes. Um, the issue is that this doesn't again spike insulin as well as dextrose. So you could just go with something that has creatine monohydrate and dextrose, or you can just buy pure creatine monohydrate and take it with a carbohydrate. You know, mm -hmm. simple carb yourself. Um, that that would be a good way to go too, and you'd save money in the long run. Um, so, I mean, as long as this is some terrible product, it's just more the issue of the cost mm -hmm. relative to how much you can save by just doing it that way. Yeah, it, this, basically to give you a rundown on what the main ingredients are, it's got 10 grams of creatine monohydrate and 60 grams of waxy maize starch uh, per two scoops. So you're looking at 5 grams of creatine and 30 grams of the waxy maize per scoop. Um, it, when you break it down by cost, if you were to go out and buy, you know, a 300 to a 500 gram creatine and some dextrose, uh, you'll find that that's much less expensive. You'll get more servings out of it than taking something like this. Um, but their claim is, you know, with the waxy maize, obviously they're going to charge you a little bit more. Yeah, they're going to claim the higher molecular weight and the whole gastric emptying thing. But as we said, there's no research to validate that. In fact, it, quite the opposite has been demonstrated in, in any research that we were able to find. Mm -hmm. Because um, it's kind of hard to find, I, I found at least in finding some yeah. research on it. The only two that I saw were on Vitargo. Yeah, Vitargo you know, and not and the waxy maize. The other ones that we saw were done with uh, slow starch mm -hmm. and, um, and, and and some of the studies are done on like uh, two bodybuilders and, and, and compare it over like a two week period of time. I've seen, um, and that's just not uh, not a, enough of a of, of a range of, of subjects and, and, and time. 
to see an yeah. actual result. Yeah, so, so as of right now, we would say for the waxy maize starch, save your money. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and if you want to take creatine, buy pure creatine monohydrate. Add your carbs separate, you know, you could put it in a good post-workout shake mm -hmm. that, you know, that's what I personally do. Um, just use one with some dextrose and, and good, you know, fast absorbing protein. You'll be, you know, good to go there. Or you can, you know, mix your, some people like to mix their creatine and juice, which is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, that's okay too. Um, juice is mostly going to be fructose, so it's not going to yeah. quite have the glycemic index of uh, dextrose, but it's still going to be good still and cheaper. So. so, yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, please feel free to post them in the comments section of the video or the blog. We're more than happy to answer them. Also, you can find us at facebook.com slash bestpricenutrition. Thank you.